Right, well, thank you for joining me. I'm here in East London. We're outside the headquarters of the Islamic Sharia Council. As you can see, the building's just over there. The reason we're out here at the moment is because we're carrying out a bit of surveillance because we know that there's a big march down Brick Lane in East London today. And uh, we know who's organising it. It's Anjem Chowdhury and his network, and Abu Izzadeen, Safe for Islam, all of those are going to be involved. The reason I'm plotted out here for a few hours is because I want to see if anyone leaves this building we're approaching the time of the march. If we spot Anjem Chowdhury leaving these premises then we know that he's either works here or that he lives here. So we can't, we're up to this kind of thing all the time because we, we need to put pressure on these people as part of Operation Fight Back but we need solid intelligence. We also appealed recently for our supporters to provide uh, funding for um, surveillance and counter surveillance equipment. This kind of equipment is absolutely vital to Operation Vite Back. We've got people out there on the streets, we've got people carrying out surveillance. I want to make sure there's no unnecessary risk involved. We've got the guts, we've got the, cu the courage, but what we need is also a lot of caution. We don't want to be making unnecessary mistakes. We don't want to be putting any of our activists, any of our regional officials at risk because we are going to be stepping this kind of stuff up uh, on a bit, in a big way across the whole country. For example, a lot of people gave hundreds of people sent in donations to our uh, equipment appeal. For example, here is something that we purchased recently. This here is a rather flash compact debugging device. This thing here will tell us for example, if I am going to the Britain First Conference, for example, and some of Anjem Chowdhury's friends in Al-Shabaab or any of his other terrorist networks that he's related to, um, place a GPS tracker on my vehicle and not knowing any better, go all the way home, they know where I live, puts me in danger. This kind of thing applies to all of our activists, all the people that are carrying out these kind of operations to try and find out where these people live, what they're up to, what they're doing to try and sabotage their efforts and so on and so forth. That's what Operation Fightback's all about. So, you know, it's quite stuff like this that is helping us stay one ahead of our opponents, our enemies, such as Anjem Chowdhury, Saif Islam and Abu Izzadeen. These people are connected to some real nasty terrorist networks. We want to make sure that we have got the very best kit and equipment. And once again, it's down to you at home that provided the funding for the acquisition of gadgetry like this. This is going to help our activists stay safe, help us stay one step ahead of the game. Very shortly, uh, in an hour or two, we're going to be heading down to East London Brick Lane where I will be joining in the Al Mahajroon Anjim Chowdhury march through East London. My intention is to try and spot Anjim Chowdhury and my intention is to try and surveil him all the way home, wherever he goes, see what he's up to, see where he goes to, to try and find out where he lives, and so on and so forth, so that we've got that intelligence. So, more updates shortly.